everyone. In the summer, the Arctic is not that bad a place to live. It's pretty warm and the long days mean that there are a lot of plants that can grow really quickly in the light. But in the winter, it's very cold and it is dark. That means no photosynthesis, which means no food being generated for the consumers that live here. In order to avoid starvation, animals have to have strategies to help them survive. Some, like birds, will simply leave. But others, like the Arctic ground squirrel, will go into hibernation. What this means is that they adjust their metabolism to consume less energy. In some cases, the Arctic ground squirrel will reduce its body temperature until it is below freezing. We went to the museum at the University of Alaska Fairbanks to learn how they do this. We'll still look. Oh, it's like the bear. You can see. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. That's just adorable. This is Jeanette Moore, and she works as a researcher at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. And she studies the Arctic ground squirrel. And I was wondering, um, I think my students would really like to know what are some of the reasons that people uh, study the Arctic ground squirrels? What are some benefits that have come from this? Well, these animals hibernate, which means they shut down all their systems, and this is not a normal situation if you think of how warm you tend to be, and there are times, um, like when an older person has a stroke, when they have to shut down their systems a bit and slow things down so they can repair, get your body repaired and then before you can get back up to normal. But that these animals, when they hibernate, they actually do that themselves, and so there's a lot of ways they protect themselves during the time they have no blood flow, because blood flow is really important for, for people. And so that's one of the things we look at is what happens in the process of them slowing down and nearly stopping their blood flow. It's pretty neat. These animals generally, for their size, live twice as long as an animal oh, that wow. size. So there are things that they're doing that allow them to extend their life and protect themselves that we could use if we knew. The way that they measure the temperature over the course of the hibernation is using this thing, which is called an eye button. It has a tiny temperature sensor that documents the squirrel's body temperature throughout the winter. And in the spring, they can actually nowadays uh, retrieve the data without even surgically extracting this from the squirrel.